Very, very, very good question. You say, are the spiritual healers, the sangomas, the, the doctors, able to collect medicinal plants from the reserve? And the answer is largely no, they're not. And it's been the source of some contention. And of course, one of the major issues of South Africa is what we call land reform. And I mean, we could talk about this for hours, but most of you would go to sleep. Reform is um, a major issue out here because, of course, with our history, most black people were dispossessed of the land that they lived on. And uh, most, a lot of that land was this conservation land that we're standing on now. And so it is contested land. It's contested, these are contested spaces. Uh, all conservation land throughout Africa is often contested spaces. Um, and one of the reasons for that is that traditional healers can't come in and collect the plants that they want. Um, there are some very progressive uh, landowners in various parts that do allow people on to harvest and collect medicinal plants and certainly that is, goes a long way to helping us protect these these natural areas but it's a really good question and it's a, it's a source of some um, conflict shall we say in various parts of Africa I think various parts of the world you know that indigenous people that have been excluded from land that they used to live on and, and uh, operate on uh, provide contentious spaces and that's not always um, It's, it's, it's a difficult balance to have, of course, because we know that the human population is far greater than it ever has been in our history, and therefore we have to protect land. But the unfairness of it here, especially in the African context, is that local people living in an area like this, at the densities that they did, would have an almost negligible effect on the wildlife. And it was only with the advent of European settlers and their guns and their voracious appetites for ivory and hides that we had the problem that conservation became a necessity at all so it's worth bearing that in mind as we wander through here